Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you footage from the DJI Pocket 2. So this video isn't going to go into loads of technical specs and details like that, it's more so for me to do a test to see what the footage looks like uh, straight from the camera in normal colour profile and then also graded using the um, log-like profile, it's called d -cine like and um, to also hear what the audio sounds like in different environments. So yeah, that's really what this video is, it's going to be a test of the footage and the audio, let's get to it! The Pocket 2 also shoots 4K at 60p, the only problem is it does drop the quality down to battery saver so it's not high quality footage, so it'd be really interesting to see what the footage looks like. One of the reasons that I would want to use 60p is so that I could just do a little bit of slow-mo. But there is a slow-mo feature in the Pocket 2, again I think that also drops it down to a lower quality, but it'll be one to check out and see how it looks. So I'm going to talk a little bit about audio now and it's a little bit windy so it'll be really interesting to see how the audio sounds with gusts of wind that are about 33 miles per hour. Um, hopefully it doesn't cut the audio out too much. But one of the most important things for me when I was looking to get a small camera that I could take around with me was having something that I could record the audio directly into and so I needed something that the audio was going to be um, of good quality. What I have found is that if I'm recording inside and I'm using the Pocket 2 inside, the audio sounds more muffled with, from the microphones that are directly built into the Pocket 2, whereas if I'm outdoors, it does sound a lot better. Um, but it's not too much of a problem because if I did shoot indoors, which is going to be very rare, I'd be able to edit the audio in something like Adobe Audition. So one of the reasons that I really wanted to get the creator combo was because I wanted to get the do it all handle and the reason for that was because the creator combo also comes with the wireless microphone transmitter and you need the do it all handle for it to work but um, the wireless microphone transmitter is not just the transmitter but also the microphone so if I switch it on just find it in my pocket uh, if I switch it on it should pair directly to the pocket 2 straight away and then the audio should the audio should switch over. Um, cool. Okay, so it switched over, and this is the audio that is coming directly from the wireless transmitter. So again, still really windy and with gusts that are quite heavy. So it'll be interesting to see how it sounds with the wireless transmitter. Um, the other thing that you can do with this is plug your lav mic in. But I have tried it, and for some reason my lav mic doesn't work. So um, I don't know if that's just because uh, the connection isn't correct, it's the lav mic from the Rode Link, so I don't know if that differs a little bit from the Smart Lav, the Rode Smart Lav, it probably does, so um, maybe that's something that I'll get and I can try it out with the transmitter, but for now I'm going to switch it over to plugging the wireless, the my lav mic directly into the Pocket 2 so that you can see how that sounds as well. So I'm just going to switch this off and go back to the Pocket 2 audio. And now I'm going to put my lav mic uh, directly into the Pocket 2. This is now from the lav mic that's on my chest. And this is how the audio sounds for this. And so for the rest of the video, I'm probably just going to use this setup um, or the inbuilt uh, microphone from the Pocket 2. 
One of the first things that I did when I got the Pocket 2 was set it to Pro Mode because I wanted to have access to the manual settings. Even though shooting in normal colour profile with auto settings looks really decent, I just wanted to be able to have that natural motion blur that you, that you have when you use the 180 degree rule. So I wanted to be able to set all my settings manually and be able to achieve that. Um, the only thing is, if you do set, you have manual settings, then you're going to need ND filters, but that's something I'll talk about in another video. The other advantage to setting the DJI Pocket 2 to Pro Mode is that you get access to a colour profile called the Cine Like, which is a log-like profile, so if you want to colour grade your footage or colour correct your footage, then you have the option to do that with a little bit more freedom rather than using the normal colour profile. Um, it's also great if you're shooting with another camera and you want to try and match the footage, then you just have that bit of extra um, capacity in order to do that with the Cine Like. The Pocket 2 also has a zoom feature, two times zoom. It's not optical, it is digital, but this is what it looks like. The Pocket 2 Creator Combo comes with a 15mm wide um, The Pocket 2 Creator Combo comes with a 15mm wide angle lens which I don't think I'll end up using that much because I'm definitely going to be using ND filters but I'll let you see what it looks like and it'll be interesting to see what it looks like anyway so this is what the footage looks like with it and without so this is with the wide angle lens off and this is with it on and off and on So I'm not necessarily going to be using the Pocket 2 in low light situations but I did want to see what the quality of the footage looks like if I did need to shoot indoors at any point and the quality of the light was really low. So I'm in a room at the moment where I haven't switched the lights on, I've just got natural light coming from this big window here to my right and then this small window behind me and this is what the footage looks like. I'm currently shooting in auto not manual so yeah this is what the footage looks like in low light. I also wanted to do a quick test of me running with the Pocket 3 to see how stable it was going to be, so here we go. Be interesting to see what the footage looks like. So out of shape. So that's the Pocket 2. I think it's a great little camera and one that I'm definitely going to take around with me wherever I go. Um, if you found this video useful, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And I hope you subscribe so that you can see more videos like this. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.
The case for the Pocket 2 is great, but even though you can fit all your accessories in here, I find that they fall out every now and then. So I've just dropped my smartphone adapter somewhere here, which I'm now trying to find. <laughs> 